really how it's done. Everyone needs to struggle right in here. We blend that. These are the cards of big old halo. And uh, there's some ways to get around there. Everybody, so the first tip here is gonna be making sure that your panel is wiped down extremely well. We're gonna do that here in just a minute. First we got SX330, this is a wax and grease remover. You wanna do this first, and then you wanna come back through with your alcohol-based cleaner, your water-based cleaner, whatever you call it. After that's all flashed off, you're gonna put this on there. It's called HPO so clean. This is the best stuff on the market in my opinion. But one big thing is, yes, these cleaners are great, but if you're not pre-cleaning your panel and you're just rubbing dirt and wax and grease and everything else in your panel, that's not a good thing either. So what I usually do is I'll go through those steps and I'll actually go over the whole panel with lacquer thinner or gun cleaner, whatever you want to call it. This actually will get rid of any stains, anything like that on the panel. So that's a very important step, everybody. All right, so I'm gonna go put my GoPro on and we're gonna get right through this. Guys, the second tip I got for you is to make sure that your face coat, your white, your underlayer, under the pearl is completely good. The last thing you want to do is start blending. And you know, like, your color's too dirty, or too blue, or too red. You want to make sure you open this can up. I've already opened it up. I've already shut it out. have a paint store. Send me the color this out with the glass. I mean, all variances are different. This has got a pretty red tone to it. So, what you gotta do is you gotta make sure that your underlayer color, your base color, the white, is a very good match first. The last thing you wanna do is get putting pearl on there and noticing that your blend's just not going away. And there's no amount of pearl that you're gonna put on it to get rid of a bad base coat color. So I want everybody to be aware, and that's the second tip, guys. Again, it's all about cleanliness. Get our blow gun out. Here's an extra tip for everybody. Said it's all about cleanliness. So you want to make sure everything's blown off real good. All your plastic's blown off. We already did that. And you want to make sure you're cleaning with wax and grease remover very well. That's the hardest contaminant you're going to have trouble with getting off of the panel, lifted off. And believe me, guys, in white, that's going to show like crazy. Technically, I should have went and grabbed a new fresh microfiber towel. That's another good tip for you. Um, I did not with this one. But we'll be okay, I think. It's not that bad. And my other one's pretty clean. So, but yeah, I mean, cleanliness is gonna be the key here. You don't wanna get done and have an oily, greasy, nasty spot on your white in your blend or anywhere that you clear it over and you're gonna see. I mean, most people wouldn't see that kind of stuff, but you don't wanna be that guy that sends your car out, says, oh, there's this or that in, in your paint. So, come back over here and get my other deal. Again, I guess this really wasn't the cleanest drag, but it'll help. Believe me, but man, I cleaned the crap out of this car already. Ain't nothing coming off this rag on the panel. I can almost promise you. And again, this round we're going to do H2O So Clean, which is an alcohol-based cleaner. It's great stuff. I haven't really noticed any difference if you let the wax and grease remover flash. As long as you're wiping it off real good. It's had the really good results that way. So. And again, it's important that you're wiping the panel off with lacquer thinner before you even do any sanding. That will pretty much guarantee that you've got 95% of any contaminants off of the white. Very important, especially with blends. All right, we got it all wiped down. We're gonna go fire this booth up. Okay guys, it's not completely necessary, but this is definitely gonna help you get your coverage. I always spot seal everything. And it's pretty controversial. Some people don't. Let me tell you one thing right now. White, it'll cover a lot better if you spot seal it. Like I said, guys, this is always DAS3021. It's 25 or 27 sealer. 21 is the white. We don't need a whole lot. We're gonna mix this up. Like I said, this is just gonna help everything cover better. We're gonna be using a 95 reducer for this. It's gonna give us pretty much ample flow time for this white. 
It's real easy to get it on too heavy and too wet. Just trying to get it to lay down with 85. I always find it easier that 95 works better. So, all right guys. Very important step too, besides just making sure that your color is on point, your base color, and make sure your reducers are good too. So if I'm trying to spray a white and it's uh, say 90 degrees in the booth, right? Say it's 90 degrees in the booth, hot day, whatever, and you're not using the proper reducer, What's gonna happen is that white's gonna sand pile on the edge. And when you go and put pearl over that, it's gonna be extremely hard, if not impossible. Many times it's impossible to get that, that edge to melt in. So you gotta make sure that everything's all properly reduced with the right temperatures. It's about 80, 82, 83 in my booth right now. And uh, you know, we're, we're about where we need to be to use 95 reducer. If I used 85, I probably wouldn't have any issues, but it's best just to be safe and make sure that you're using the proper reducers. important step everybody make sure you're using the color blender it's not 100% necessary but I find it makes a nicer job when you use it in these pearl whites so the pearls don't you know stick around in the wrong directions and everything I mean, a lot of guys will say oh well you just gray scotch braid it well you know what? I ain't got time for gray scotch braids if I have a product that's gonna melt the red scotch braid in I'm gonna use it all day long so anyway we're gonna go put some color blender on.
All right, everybody. So we got our color blender down. We're gonna go smash our last coat of white base coat on. And then we can get to start getting on our pearl. All right, so now we're on to our mid coat, which is our pearl, guys. Make sure this is mixed up correctly. It's very important. Make sure it's stirred up in the can good because I haven't touched this yet. This is a pretty faint pearl, everybody. It's not much in it, but it will make a difference. It's almost like a pretty thin layer, I'd have to say. But nonetheless, no amount of pearl is going to cover a bad color. I'm just telling you that right now. Yes, it will darken and lighten the color, depending on what kind of color it is. But most tri stages, you're not going to get much of a difference in the color with that second layer on. So it's very, very important that everything looks good on your ground coat first. Anyway, again, the stuff mixes up one to one. And it's pretty important that you're using the correct reducers. The pearls, they're a little bit different. You gotta make sure they're buried in there. You go and uh, over, under, reduce this stuff. What's gonna happen? those pearls are either going to get too wet and wash out or they're going to get on there and they're going to they're going to want to sand pile and you don't want either of that so like i said there's a very very little amount of pearl in this color which is fine but it will halo very very important that you're laying this pearl properly and like i said i'll voice over a little bit when we're in the booth so nobody's lost First coat of pearl, let's go. So what we're doing here, we're gonna focus on getting our first edge melted in. And that's not coming all the way out. But that's coming out just before it. And we're gonna make sure we're gonna get those pearls nice and wet. We don't want any of them standing up. And again, you're kind of going to just bring it right before it. I'd say almost like a, compared to like a 75% overlap. I'm not saying put it on like clear coat, but you want to get it wet. This piece here, guys, it was crazy. Um, that little tiny piece was all mangled to crap and the insurance company did say let's replace it and Kia said it would be two months to get that piece and the customer was okay with it so we fixed it but it was a mess all right so there's our little halo edge you're starting to see it um, it's gonna get worse the next coat and then we're gonna come in and I'm gonna explain how to get rid of it I'm 
So on our second coat, we just want to make sure we're getting our pearl out right to our edge. And you want to make sure that it's starting to blend in really nice. This color isn't so bad. It's a lot of your dirtier pearls. A lot more tan looking pearls, kind of. Not sure how to explain it. Um, that's where you're really going to have the issues. See the halo. It's so hard to see in the video, but it's there. I want everybody to pay attention because here in a few minutes, we're going to show you how to get rid of that. Okay, everybody, that is two and a half coats of pearl. I think we're at the right amount. No, we didn't do a let down panel or anything like that. But uh, okay, now that we got that, I wanna show everybody the secret little trick to get rid of your halo around your blend. I mean, obviously the whole time you're trying to bring your pearl out as far as you drop your base coat out. So what's gonna happen there is it's gonna build a pearl edge and it's something you really can't avoid. Um, unless you're super, super precise somehow and can uh, not get any pearl over onto the panel. I mean, this color isn't so bad for it. I'm not even sure if you'll be able to see it in the video of what I'm talking about. But anyway, get rid of your pearl edge. You get a little cup over here. Sorry about the mess, everybody. You're gonna grab your white. You wanna go you can fill that up. You don't need a whole lot. I'm just gonna be putting it in our blend area. Okay. I'm gonna go one part white. And probably for this, we're gonna go two parts. This is probably like one to two of your pearl. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna help hide your blend. It's gonna help hide that halo effect. Like I said, we really ain't got much of a halo effect on this, but and to help melt it in more, you can add a little color blender. Really no science to this other than just a little bit, just to help it lay out. Uh, you definitely don't want the pearls laying on top of each other. This is a lighter pearl, so it's not a huge deal. But anyway, I'm gonna walk you in. I'm gonna show you how to spray this over your blends to get a flawless finish. So you're looking at the halo, it's the effect what happens when pearls build on top of each other. And what you're gonna do with that mixture of concoction of crap you got there, you're just gonna kinda dust it over your blunt. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna help, help hide everything. Same deal with up top there, it's gonna hide everything. Okay, so what's gonna happen here though, it's gonna wash out your pearl a little bit. And I'll show you how to fix that in the next clip. It looks pretty great, not gonna lie. Really gonna go in there and check it with my light. Usually you'd walk in, get to your color match light, and check it with your light, with the booth lights off to make sure the blend's good. This, I'm not gonna have that issue. I mean, I've done so many of these now that I'm not gonna have that issue. You're gonna see that halo anymore. So, not super worried about it, but what you wanna do here, make sure your gun's cleaned out decent. You don't really want any more white in it. Because if there's one more step you can take if you're still having a little bit of an issue. And actually, if you went in there with your color match light, with the lights off, you'd see what I'm talking about. And what happens is, now you got a little bit of white in your blend area. I know that sounds stupid, why would you do that? Well, there really isn't much other way to get your blend to disappear, unless you're some paint god or something. This is what I've always done. If you're like, okay, ah, uh, still not up to par you know I don't, I don't know I don't know what else to do I've done everything I've exhausted every other option and here's what else you can do so you got a little white this will make it completely disappear guys what we're gonna do we're gonna dust a little bit of pearl over every everything in our blends and what that's gonna do is make our edge completely disappear in our blend flawless
Do not put your first coat of clear on too heavy, guys, because if you run it, you're gonna pull them pearls right down. That's just a little bonus tip for everybody. But yeah, we're gonna get clear in this car. I'll see everybody when it's done. Bam, bam, everybody. Just like that, you cannot see the blend at all. If you like this video, guys, I hope everybody goes down and hits that subscribe button. I hope everybody learned something today on how to get nice, flawless, pearl white blends. And uh, anyway, thanks for hanging out, guys, and this has been Murder the Finish.